Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to another card video. This week I used a new stamp set from Unity. Such a cute little set. Um, and I stamped it onto some watercolor paper by Stampin' Up. Uh, as you can see, I'm using Memento uh, Black Tuxedo ink. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to watercolor and if you notice I squeezed the ink pad before I opened it and that puts the ink on the lid of the stamp container. And then I'm taking a, an aqua painter which is a pen that has water in it and a brush at the tip. So when I squeeze the pen, water comes out of the tip and then I just use it to pick up the ink uh, from the ink pad. And at the same time, I'm also using my blender pen technique with a Stampin' Up! marker. And that just makes my areas a little bit darker in the back where the shadow is. So I'm going to actually apply marker directly to my watercolor paper. And then I'm going to use my blender pen to blend it out. And now I'm going back in to get a little bit more color with the aqua painter. Alright, and as you can see, I'm just wiping it off by just um, brushing it onto a piece of blank paper. Um, now I'm doing the hair, and it's in chocolate chip, so I'm just going to apply it the same way. The only part I used a blender pen on was the dress, and that was just to get a little bit more of a darker color in the back. All the other areas, I just used an aqua painter and ink from the ink pad. So, th oh, I'm sorry, I lied. <laughs> This is um, Blush Blossom, and it's a marker that's sold just on its own. It's not part of any collection, and it's really just a skin tone color. And so I am using a blender pen on this one. Um, so I'm coloring in her arms and her face um, directly on the color paper with my marker, and then I'm using my blender pen to pull the color into a lighter area. So I'm really coloring the back of her legs, because that's where the dark shadow is, and then I blend it toward the front of her legs where the sun is shining. Okay, so back to the aqua painter. Um, same technique, I'm just following the grass lines, just picking up some color. I, if I want it, the color to be a little lighter, I'll just squeeze some more water out. And the great thing about this aqua painter is you just literally just, you know, brush it out on a piece of scrap paper and the color comes out and you can reuse it on a different color. Okay, so now I'm taking Marina Mist and I'm creating the sky with the Aqua Painter and it's important, I wanted to create the illusion of the wind that's through her hair, so I wanted to make sure that I did my whole sky using horizontal strokes. Um, I did a little bit of a vertical around her head just to kind of get around it, make sure I got all the, the blue right there up close to her face, but for the most part, everything is you know, from right to left, and, and so it creates this illusion of wind and clouds that are going horizontally. And I'm just going right into the grass, and it really doesn't blend it together, because the grass is already dry. I missed a spot on the grass, I'm just filling that back in. I have this corner chomper and it chomps a one half inch rounded corner, which is kind of a thick rounded corner, I really like that. So I did it on the left hand side again to show that the wind was blowing in and kind of wearing down the corner, uh, but leaving it sharp on the right hand side. And then I just stamped my sentiment in uh, Memento ink again. So I'm just creating uh, the card base with a black layering in the back, and I'm just going to put this right on top. And then I decided to go in with some dazzling details. It's basically Stickles, Stampin' Up's version of Stickles. And um, so I wanted to create some sparkle, like some magic is happening as the wind is flowing through this little girl. It's just so cute. She reminds me of my daughters. And that's it. Pretty simple, all one layer uh, with the watercolor paper. So hope you enjoyed it, learned a little technique there with the watercoloring, and um, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.